Yeah, there we go. Now it's recording. Good. It's recording now. Yeah. Good, and you can see it on the screen. Most so of it. good. All right. Oh. You want the hood? No. You good? I'm good. Okay. It's recording now, Jonathan. Yes, it's currently recording. Okay. Good stuff. Now, if my glasses in the van. Oops. Mom's got it now. Luckily, with more glasses. Imagine it'll be really hard to see with the naked eye. Yeah, you'd be astonished. Now it's a good size. Oh, come on! Body. Speed. Oh, oh we, you thought it was 117 years from this year. From next year. It's going to be next year. <laughs> <laughs> thought I was 105.5. Yeah, we're all standing here and it's next year. Yeah. Or we missed it. Somebody forgot yeah. to tell us it was point. last year. <laughs> What's Saturn doing up there? Yeah. Saturn's not supposed to go in front of the sun. <laughs> it's so goddamn dark. <laughs> uh, it was supposed to be, what, 15 minutes past? That's about what time it is in Australia. Oh, okay. So it should be any second for us. The floor of the chairs. All right. 6.04 p.m. 6.04? So any second now. Because we're in the glasses. For Toronto? Um, Eastern Daylight Time. University of Toronto is on the glasses. Six oh four. Yep, Eastern Standard. Daylight. Daylight. There it is. Got it. Where the bad off down is? It's at the top. Yep. Where the big prominence is to the left of it. There it is. Yep. What time is it, Mike? Six oh four. 6.04 on the dot. Yeah, Good to know the solar system is working as a clock. You see it, Jonathan? Okay. Um, can you see the sun at all? Yeah, I can see the sun, but I can't see anything. If you're free to sit on the concrete block. I haven't yet, but I've... Where is it for you? What about you, Jonathan? You see anything in the telescope? No. You see the sun in the telescope? Barely. Oh, wow, that was not pleasant. Barely meaning... Not really. So... Okay. It's either there or not. It's... If you move your head around every now and again, you get... No, 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 that's not the sun. That's a bit of uh, extra extraneous light coming down the tube. Then, no, I don't see the sun. You're right. Do you see it in the monitor, Dad? No, Jonathan, I don't have my glasses on. And every now and then I catch a bit of sunlight, so I'm kind of afraid of putting my, my glasses on.
Any luck, Jamie? I'm just trying to show you standing. Show you standing. Good job, you're a good friend, Jamie. Otherwise, I wouldn't. This position could be kind of compromising. <laughs> Well, I do. You don't want to look through it. But it's because it's the right angle on it. Uh, so let's see what I can find here. Put that piece of junk out of the way. So, pretty sure I got everything that I need. Down the down the tube. There we go. That should be about right. There it is. Oh, way cool. It's still not completely on. So there you go. Have a look. It's partly on. Where is it? It's a chunk out of the out of the edge of the sun. What corner of the sun? Uh, Jonathan, I don't know. Just look, will you? There's a chunk taken out. Oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> this corner. Bottom. Hey Ron, come and check this out. It's going to be in the bottom, uh, bottom right. It's almost. It's uh, about three thirty. Oh yeah. Awesome. Oh, I like that. That's pretty damn impressive. That's only partly started. <laughs> yep. Exactly. Cool. At the, well, I, didn't that, quite, I didn't get it quite as clear with my Nikon. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> so, where's my phone? You can't see it with any eye on it. Oh, yeah. Allison's awesome. sending me all kinds of text messages. <laughs> there are some small breaks in the clouds, according to Allison. Good for her. Sorry? You can have a look if you're not. No, no, absolutely. I'm just. Uh, Okay, so we're losing it off the top of the eyepiece. Okay, so it's uh, it's unclamped, so feel free to push the scope. The question is which direction? Right, you'll, you'll quickly see. And I'm, at the moment, just kind of hoping that I've actually got this thing. Trying to focus which side you think it's on looking at normally. So that's you texting Jonathan? Yes. Okay. 
I was telling her that we can't see it with our eyes yet. But uh, I'm trying to guess at this point, Ron. Let me see whether moving the telescope will help me. Oh, well, no okay. worries, no worries. Nobody else wanted to come to this? Nobody else in your family, or was everybody else busy? Uh, Kevin, uh, if you didn't want to. Nancy is not feeling This so looks like it's terrestrial, so it'll be in the 3 o'clock position, or 3... Okay, can I have a look? 340. Let's see. Hold me see. Right. So it's, it's traveling between us and the sun, right? Correct. So we're Trevor's rotating. It's going to go way. Way. When we look down on us, which way are we going? Counterclockwise or counterclockwise? Say again. When we're looking down on the on the uh, solar system, do we go clockwise or counterclockwise? I think we go counterclockwise. Dad, which way does the if we're looking down on the solar system? Which way do we go? Go counterclockwise. No. Nope. If you're looking down from if yeah. you're looking from the north, they they go. Uh, hang on a second here. Yes, because the sun, Venus, used to be an evening star, which would be that side of the sun. Okay. Tomorrow morning it will be a morning star. It will rise before the sun, okay, and consequently so must be on that side tomorrow. It's so it's going from, from that side to that side. side. As we're viewing it, it must be the opposite side. It's got to be going this way. Yeah. Correct. <clears throat> so could you see on the left side of that image? Yeah, any second now, I would think, actually. <laughs> Probably will require some color to, to get around it. Definitely an hour, and then we'll see it. Okay. All right. Could, uh, like I, Sorry. So, is a pair of a spare pair of uh, of the glasses around? Right here. Oh, thank you. Whose are these? I've been using those ones. Mine are in the car. I don't know where yours are. Well, I got there's a whole bunch of them that I, that I put back there. Yeah. So let's see. Here. Right in the bag. Don't worry. What no sea salt uh, please? Yeah. Is it fully engaged yet, Jamie? No, not yet. Half, a little over, at 60%. Massey? I'm just going to try and get a little centered. I want to see that too. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's coming out. Yep. It's really round. 105? 105 and a half. 105 and a half. What's that? 105 and a half. Yeah. Look. Something like that. That's crazy. Awesome. No, it's not something new. <laughs> Oh, that is way too That's cool. going to suck, because when I'm around to watch it the next time, it'll be winter. <laughs> November. I know. Like what gift? You'll just have to move to the southern hemisphere. And you also have to be... Oh, my <laughs> point! You, also, you, also have to, you want to be winter because you'll be cryogen cryogenically frozen. It is 3D. <laughs> like when you look at it, you can, you can see the space in between, because you can see how the light curves around. One of the, one of the things you may want to, want to look at is, um, is there's a, a, an effect sometimes called the black drop effect, where once Venus is completely is is just about to, to move on to the, the surface of the sun completely, it almost as if it pulls a bit of black along with it as it uh, as it moves oh, yeah, fully on. Yeah, so it looks elongated. Yeah, and I still we're oh. not quite still. It looks like the better your telescope and the better the observing conditions, the less it's visible. <laughs> so it appears to be an effect as a of. Atmospherics and, and poor optics, as opposed to any actual real effect. So it should be at the top corner for viewing with the glasses. No, left. About 10:30, 9:30. Okay. I don't see it yet on the surf um, with the glasses. Yeah, what's, what's he thinking? What's up with that? Should you, what are you bring an extra concrete block with you? <laughs> well, you feel free to pick the other one up, put it on top of here. Okay, where's that? Where's that door? <laughs> yeah. Put it on your hood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Or the Hulk. Yeah. Well, he's just good for smashing Loki around. <laughs> So this effect then is slowed down because we're going in the same direction. Yes. Stationary in space will take it a lot less time. Well, not a lot less time, but less time. Yes. Justify spending the monthly charge for it. So how was it that they used this to determine the size of the solar system? Because you measure the amount of time it takes from two different positions, and it takes a slightly different track across the sun. For instance, Allison should start. It should just start touching the edge in Australia in a couple of minutes. Okay, so they knew the diameter of the Earth. Knew the diameter of the Earth. You have to establish your position as precisely as possible to do so, which is why you send an expedition around um, with sextants and with with yeah as much as possible to to go ahead and determine precisely where you are. Okay, so, so then that gives you then. So to determine your position as accurately as possible in space, so gives it gives you, you two cords across the face of the sun at that point because you have to watch the entire thing. It's not enough to know the difference between the interfaces in time. No, I'm not following you. Well, the difference between say. It, it becomes fairly, I won't say simple trigonometry, but it becomes trigonometry at the point as long as you've got two cords that, that are there and you know the distance apart that they are. So I've been told. <laughs> it seems to me to be a solvable problem. What, what I was reasonably certain you couldn't do was just determine it just from finding out when Venus touches. <laughs> Jesus, people in the lake swimming. Oh yeah. That happens a lot. Is it completely on yet? No. It's actually gone. What do you mean it's gone? It's gone from the thing. It so why around. didn't you move the telescope? Number two. There we go. See, that's what he's calling. You want to be ha somebody needs to be having a look at it when it does that. It's gone now. Let's see what we can get back. Which way did it go off the view? I don't know. Okay. It's right there, John. No big deal. Oh, look at that. I just seen a tiny little red brick. There it is, little black spot, little black. I don't even know who this is. There it is, a joint. There's one I have a look. I do. Is it completely on? No, not yet. Very close though. I'm gonna watch it go on. Well, you may have to push the telescope to be able to do that. So. Which way? What's wrong? Which fault? Which way do I push it? Do, Why? Try it. it. Have a look. Have a look. What's the, what's Last time I tried to push it, Dad, I give it a small it. amount of Which touch. way do I move it so that it stays? In Keep focus. looking. It's, it's Keep looking. Now. It was clearly in the viewfinder when I got it. But it's gonna move. Right. Like Keep to looking, follow. Jonathan. Keep looking. Rotate this. Yeah. In one direction or the other, I'm finding that I have to rotate it kind of clockwise okay. to drop it into the. Move it. Just it's whatever. This way arm you move it, has just, to go this way, right? Because it's just move it slowly, and then you'll see. You can even sort of just put a little pressure on it, and you'll, and you'll see, see which, which way, way it goes. Going to go. Transit of Venus. Venus going oh, we did the bring sun. it with it. Did you see the Looking dew drop? I believe so. Did you see it? I think so. Yep. I saw the teardrop. Because it's clearly on the 
surface, but it's now completely. Oh, there it is. I can see it on here. All right, so now I know where it is. I can see it on the viewfinder. So, can you see it naked? Can you see it? Uh, Yeah, I was going to see the red light reflector refracted around you. Yeah. I can't see it yet. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, and when you come back, I'll tell you to stop. There it is. Where? Well, it seems to be. Virtually right at the top. There's a little, there's a little notch right at the very top of the sun. Because what I got to remember, I guess at the, at the moment, that the sun north, as far as the sun goes, is that way. So that's straight up and down for the sun. So it's practically right at the top. And there's oh, a little right. tiny yeah, notch yeah. there. It's not nor it's not Correct. Right. It's north really isn't north it. isn't this way. North, north is this way as far as the sun goes. So it's, it's practically come from upper there's left a little lower notch right. right at the very top. Can I have a look? Absolutely. I've got more of these around somewhere, Jamie. They're in the they're in one of the laptop bags by that thing. Yes. There it is. Oh beautiful. Okay, my eyes stuck. Check it out. Uh, I can't tell. Oh, I see where it is. You're talking about like 12:31 o'clock. Yeah, yeah. There's a little notch. So we're racing around with it the same direction, so we're kind of helping our long longevity of our yes, our be able to view it. Yep, absolutely correct. The reason we don't see it every year is because our angles are all off, right? Um, yeah, because because Venus will go slightly above or slightly below, right? For every single time, by as much as about four degrees. Still think but Earth and Venus are, are kind of locked in that roughly um, every, Venus, I think, does. 13 rotations around the sun as the earth does eight so it's a really bizarre resonance but it exists but it's it's just off enough You can see it. Thought I did. As as it moves onto the face of the sun, it'll be a little easier to see this uh, this black spot on there. Yeah. 